Good evening, I'm meteorologist Karen Williams, and as you can see by our satellite and radar, here in the immediate Greenville, Greenwood area, things are kind of dry. You see clouds off to our east, but notice up in Tunica and points east, you have showers and thunderstorms. And this is the pattern that we're pretty much locked into for the upcoming week. I'll have your detailed forecast coming up as the Delta News at 10 weekend edition starts now. News that works for you. This is the Delta News at 10. Well, Tamara, we have partly cloudy conditions outside our studios, and it is humid. I sound like a broken record, but I'll have your complete forecast coming up after the break. Taking a look at our satellite and radar, you can see there were some heavy hitters that were up to our north here, especially Tunica. Tunica is a little bit out of our out of our area, but those darker purples that you see up there, that's hail. So, you know, folks up there were dealing with some hail, and that's the possibility with these storms, some of which may be light, then some of which will be heavy downpours, which will give you the winds and the possibility of hail. But here in the immediate Greenville, Greenwood area here, things were pretty dry and it was humid. Although we didn't reach the 90s, we were in the upper 80s and you figure in that humidity, it really was feeling kind of miserable outside. Again, we're looking again at these at these pretty much these vivid colors up here. And it looks like Tunica is getting slammed right now. Now, looking at your out the door forecast for your Monday, we will have broken skies, 76 degrees. By 1 p.m., one or two of you will begin to see some showers and thunderstorms, 88 degrees. And then we still might have a few around by 7 p.m., 84 degrees. Now, as we advance a little bit further here, we're looking at our temperatures at 77 degrees for Greenwood. And the winds are variable at three miles per hour. The dew point at 71, that humidity at 82%, and that heat index at this time at 77 degrees. That's very uncomfortable. Greenville is 79 degrees with an east wind, seven miles per hour, dew point at 73, humidity at 82%, and that heat index, wow, 81 degrees. So it's really, really sticky out there. Low temperatures tonight will be in the low 70s. We're looking at Grenada at 73, Batesville at 71, and Cleveland at 74. High temperatures tomorrow will be, they'll be running a little bit below normal. We should be in the 90s, but factor in again the dew points. It's not going to feel too good out there. Grenada at 90, Cleveland 88 degrees. And there's those dew points well above where they should be in the low to mid 70s. Clarksdale at 75, so again, uncomfortable. And here's why. We have a stalled front that's right over us. And again, you can see Monday it's going to kind of dip down, but notice as it moves down, we're going to get showers from both areas to the north and to the south. And this is where this particular stall front is going to be. It's going to kind of be yo-yoing back and forth. And we can expect those showers. Temperatures ahead in the week ahead, we're looking at upper 80s by 90s by the end of the week. And then our rain chances each and every day, the heaviest being on Tuesday and Wednesday. Looking at the river stages at Greenville, we got a reading at 32.4 and it's gradually moving on up. The projection is at 35.5 by Thursday. And for the Yazoo River, 21.8. And again, it's gonna move up just a little bit at 22.2. Looking at your forecast for tonight, isolated showers possible, then partly cloudy conditions, 74 degrees. And then for tomorrow, sun mixed with clouds with scattered rain and thunderstorms, 89 degrees. And then looking at that seven day forecast, Tamara, we're gonna have showers each and every day with those temperatures in the mid to upper 80s, 90s by the end of the week. And again, we keep those chances in there. So yeah, it looks like it's, a more it's gonna, it's gonna be humid. <laughs> very, very humid. Definitely. Now we're gonna put in our installment of our viewer weather photos for this <laughs> evening. The first one up is oh, by great. Randolph, it's Nova Rain Cloud. So we thank you, Randolph, for those pictures. So cool. 
Then our next one that we have, we have the storm over Cleveland. Oh, wow. That's really yeah. threatening out there. Yeah. That was submitted by Charles Woodard and it was taken by Greg. Oh. Thank you very much, Charles and Greg. Very and cool. then we have the 4th of oh, July. It came in a little bit late last night, so I couldn't use it. So this is the belated July 4th clouds there. And that yeah. was sent in by Zion Johnson. Thank you so much, Worth Zion. The wait. <laughs> and then we have dark clouds oh, wow. by Cedric and Grace. Again, yeah. that's looking a bit threatening mm -hmm. there. All that thank weather. you Cedric and Grace. And then we also have, we got oh, the two cool. for going here. Yeah. We got the lightning between the trees and the morning horizon that was sent in by Shakira Ware. Very thank cool. you very much. And then our final group of folders Photos, as oh, I try yeah. to say, we have puffy clouds Very and cool. storms brewing, and that was sent in by Karen Branch, who happens to be Shakira's mom. Oh, great so, minds think alike. Yeah, there. exactly, exactly. <laughs> so again, thank you everyone for sending in your photos, and if you have a weather photo that you would like to share with us, send it to kwilliams at deltanews.tv, and we'll be sure and we'll do our best to get those weather photos on. Thank you so much, everyone.